take two. All right, hey guys. <laughs> Sorry about that. I had done one video, but I was sound a little weird there at the beginning, so that's why I said take two. Uh, anyways, um, I found a crap load of stuff here. This is unbelievable. This is my mega haul. Um, at least for me, I've seen other mega hauls that I think are probably smaller or bigger, way bigger than this. But I'm gonna call this a mega haul because this is just incredible, at least to me. Um, I'm not even sure where to start. Actually, I know where to start. Right here. This has been a pretty crazy night, and I might try to explain here, probably later in, at the end, the end of the video. Um, most likely, I am going to split these. I'm going to split this video because it's probably going to take a while to go through all this stuff. A lot of this stuff I haven't even looked in yet to see if there's actually anything in some of this stuff. So, let's start here. So, I went to a disc replay. <coughs> Excuse me. And uh, I found some CDs. That's all I found there. There were some, like, covers to CDs or uh, DVDs or, like, Blu-rays. There's a South Park one, I think, and... I don't know a few other ones, but they're all trashed. They're kind of wet. It had been raining here the last couple days, kind of on and off. So actually, this morning it was raining, as I stated earlier in the video. Um, so I just kind of left that stuff. But I did find some CDs here. So this is Pat Metheny. I don't know, never heard of him or her. Uh, CDs in there. Edition. No, these CDs are probably not. I'm not even going to check these CDs because they're probably good. Uh, what do we got here? Queensryche. I actually do like Queensryche. That's pretty cool. Uh, let's see. There's the CD. That's pretty cool. Let's see where this is from. 1999. I think that's probably when I first started hearing them. Uh, Corn. Mm, not sure which CD this is. It might just be called Corn. I haven't listened to Corn in a while, but I like their music. CDs in there. Tears for Fears. Wow. That's going way back. Seeds of Love. Uh, let's see, when was this from? 99, too, I think. Uh, oh, I forgot to see if there's a CD in there. CDs in there. And, uh,. Once again, for people don't, who don't know what disc replay is, you might probably can guess, or if you've watched my other videos, uh, this is Led Zeppelin, In Through the Outdoor. There's only like seven songs on this one. And, got the CD, I think. Yep. Comes upside down, that's weird. Van Morrison, Moon Dance. CDs in there. Oh yeah, Sean Paul, Do the Rock. God, what is that from? 2002. That's probably right. CDs in there. So that's there. Uh, anyways, I was saying, this replay. Um, sells CDs, DVDs, games. You know, used. I think that's it. They don't have any books or anything in there. Uh, so next thing, I actually stopped at two of those. The first one is where I got the CDs, and the second one I didn't find anything. Uh, once again, there's some slip covers and some just some empty boxes, DVD, CD boxes. Just left them there. One of those two big black bags, that's pretty much all that was in there with these bins. I don't think there was anything else in there that I pulled out of there. But, uh, as you can see, Xbox, 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 PS3s, Xbox, there's a Wii and some Wii's. Guts to file, I have no idea what that is. So this is, I'm assuming this is probably where they kept like the used CDs or DVDs, games. Um, you know, they always have the boxes up for display and then they, they go rifling through something. You can usually see them looking for the game, so that's probably what they kept the games in. Most of these are in pretty decent shape. I mean, hell, I could probably use these for something. Uh, 
but yeah, that's kind of neat. I was hoping that was something else because that, that was all that was, like I said, that was all that was in that one bag, I believe. Uh, don't know. I think that, yeah, like I said, I think that was it. Alright, so next up we got this Donkey Kong, which I am assuming it was probably from the new game Tropical Freeze for the Wii U. Looks like it was part of some display because there's those two little tabs. If you ever saw my very first video, I bought a, or I bought, I found a Yoshi's New Island display, total display. Um, it has these little tabs on it too. Oh yeah, see these are sticky. So, you pop them in like some other piece of the display. Sticks there, that's kind of cool. I got this Disney Infinity. It's just kind of a kind of a sheet of saying what's all in the starter packs, what's in the first series. It's got all the different figures from the first series. And then on the other side is the power discs, which is the different discs you can use for power ups and uh, spawn vehicles and stuff, different backgrounds. Uh, then I got this. This is awesome. No, I'm just kidding. Uh, it's a Uline. It's a shipping supply specialist. This is a shipping company, basically. Shipping supply company. Uh, and I grabbed this because of all these boxes and stuff they have. I was just wanting to see if I can. I'm not even sure if I can order out of here, but I just wanted to see if I can find. See if they have like poster boxes, uh, the poster tubes. See if they're cheaper than just buying them. At some regular store or something. And then I got some gift cards, which I still have a whole stack of these. I gotta go through. As usual, I'm gonna say go ahead and try, you know, try these out. You just gotta call into the, t the number in the back. You punch in the code in the back, and then they tell you if there's any credit on it. I mean, it's pretty simple. It's all automated when I've called. Um, I've got a whole stack, though. I haven't had a chance to to go through those. And then I have this, which is from a receipt. It's actually a Destiny beta code. Um, it looks like they bought PS4 games. Yeah, a couple PS4 games. Um, oh, and they, um, they pre or they reserved the Destiny game, which I'm assuming is for the PS4. So this code's probably for the PS4, it's a beta code. So there you go guys, if you want it, go ahead and take that. And there are the instructions to log on to bungie.net slash beta. And hopefully that code is working. I mean, it's possible that they already used it, but you never know. So there's a code for you guys. And then I got some slip covers here. And these are actually a DLC for the Nintendo eShop. game download. This is F-Zero. I got a bunch of those and in the back here just have some screenshots. Oops, sorry about the glare. Got a few of those and there was Far Cry Classic. Can't talk. Far Cry Classic for the PS3. These don't actually have the codes in them. They're just like display box cover, slip covers, which I found. I've got a bunch of these actually. Um, not of F Zero and Far Cry Classics, but of other more recent games and stuff. And then I got this Diablo Reaper of Souls poster. And actually, there's a bunch of them in this tube right here that I found in that second bag, big black bag that I had. Uh, so it's actually two sided, and the other side is actually a different picture. Go. So that's pretty neat. That up. And it says there's ten in here, so it's probably there's probably is ten in there. This is the second time I've found some posters. I found posters in the last my last haul from Pokemon and like timeline posters. And then I have these box these display boxes for the Wii U. 
<coughs> excuse me, Classic Control Pro controller. Classic Controller Pro. Blech. Basically the uh, normal controller for Wii, for the Wii that you can buy. I got two two different types, white and black. So uh, that's good. They're not racist. No, I'm just kidding. And then I got these display boxes. This is for the Nabby. I believe this is a kid's like a kid's tablet. A couple of those, and then Kindle Fire XD. I don't know if I don't hear if anybody wants these right away. I'll probably just toss these because they're not game related or anything. And I don't know if anybody wants them. And then I got some display boxes, Ooh, which I just realized this one's kind of jacked up here. You can see. But I actually found a bunch of these. These are for the three, oh, Nintendo 3DS. This is Aqua Blue. Uh, black. And red. Cosmo Black. And then this is probably some weird name too. Flame Red. Cosmo Black and Flame Red. I found a bunch of these last time from the same place. Oh, and then a couple of... Uh, Nintendo 3DS XL display boxes, which is kind of funny because these these 3DS XL display boxes are actually smaller than the, uh, the regular 3DS. That's kind of funny. Put these all together. Sorry guys, just trying to clean up everything here so I can put it away easier. I'm done because it's late and I gotta get up early. Alright, and then I found stuff together. I found these things. I don't think I've ever seen these in other videos before. But um I'm trying to clean off one of these gift cards. It's uh Ryu, your guide. I don't know if you can see that. At the bottom there it says your guide to the revolutionary new home console from Nintendo. And if you flip through it, it just has kind of what the Wii U's about. HD graphics, the Miiverse, um, Nintendo TV, just kind of different things. Browser. And then it goes through some of the games. So it's kind of weird. Like I said, I've never seen those before. And then it has like this kind of plastic cover to it with the Wii U controller. Bloop, 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 bloop. So there's a bunch of those. Two, three, four, five, six, seven of those. So that was kind of cool. Like I said, I don't think I've ever seen those in any videos that I've seen. It's kind of a neat little, neat little thing. I'm going to find a couple of these 2014 calendars, uh, Disney Magical World, which I believe, um, it's an, oh yeah, it's a 3DS game, okay, that's what I thought, so just a calendar with different pictures from the, uh, the game, Beauty and the Beast, Alice in Wonderland, so that's kind of cool, might get one of those to my sister. Next Disney stuff. Maybe even with my my son. He's big in the Disney too. And then I got my first steel books, which I thought was pretty cool. It's the Den Island Riptide. Two of those. Is that no games or um, instructions on both of them. They're just the cases. So that's pretty cool. That was my first steel books. Then I got this. I have no idea what this is. Some kind of like flag or something maybe. So I'm gonna open it right now. Another thing I wanna do with my videos is kinda of do things for the first time. If I can. This is one of those things. It's a square index game. Oh yeah. It's like a clock. Hold on a second. 
Okay, sorry for the weird shaky cam here. Hopefully nobody is getting motion sickness. Final Fantasy. Uh, what is that? 14, I think? The Realm Reborn. A Realm Reborn. This is the online game that is already out, I believe, I think. I haven't really been big on a Final Fantasy, but that's actually a pretty cool little flag banner thing. It's got the little loops here on the top, so you can hang it up. So that is pretty neat. I'm going to put you down again for a second. I pulled that out of uh, that last big bag that I had got. I thought it was a shirt at first. But I first saw it until I kind of pulled it out. That's pretty cool. I think I've actually seen that. Another video. I'll put that back in right. uh, Make a Path Presents, I believe, is the guy's name on YouTube. That's where I saw that. I think it was him. Uh, and then I got Watch Dogs. And I actually, I should have kept the sheet. There was a little sheet that had like. I just said thanks for uh, thanks for paying attention to Watt Dogs or something like that, and it kind of went through the pre-order for GameStop, and then it said, and here are some lanyards for your troubles, I guess. Let's see, got Watch Dogs. That little symbol actually on that piece of paper on the back was the symbol. And I read that, I saw that piece of paper first because I saw that symbol. I was like, oh, what's that? And saw that it was, uh, when I was reading it, and saw that it was Watch Dogs. I was like, oh, man, I wish I could have some of those. And bam, there you go. Guys, let's get to the nitty-gritty here. So I got some DS cases. Got five. Which, I don't know if I've ever mentioned in my... I think I might have mentioned in my last video, the video before, I usually find, like, between 5 to 10, on average, DS cases. I haven't found anything in them yet, as far as games. That one just has the... Instructions. Instructions. No games. My Little Pony. Instructions. Pokemon White version. Or Pokemon White 2 version. Pokemon White version 2. Uh, whatever. I think you know what, you're what I'm trying to say. No names, instructions. You know, I usually find these cases. There's Pokemon Black, the first, the first one. Pokemon White 2. I think it's supposed to be Pokemon White 2 version. There's a white and black version. Pokemon Black 2 version. Just instructions. Sorry, babbling here. Um, I usually find these in the uh, the garbage bags. Just like regular garbage bags, which I actually did find this time too. So in... That was, that was another kind of weird thing. In those two big black bags were two smaller white bags. Uh, well, on the one there was two small white bags, and the other one was these cases. Excuse me, and then just one, uh, one bag. Actually, there's two bags, but the one, the one bag was just like full of all these paper towels that were wet, which I've found a few times. So I don't know what the hell that's all about. Um, so I think I'm going to stop here. And then uh, I'm gonna keep recording, but I'm gonna split these things up because this was a lot of a lot of stuff that I, I found. And I'm already at 20 minutes here, so 
game cases, kind of the tchotchke things, the flag, the lanyards, this Wii U stuff, the Donkey Kong display thing, the posters, the calendar. That was kind of the, the first bit. That was the, the warm up. Because we got all this. Just giving you a preview. I want you to see it. So catch my second the second part of this video. This will be Mega Hall Part 2 coming up. And I will see you next time. Oh yeah, forgot. If you like the video, thumbs up please. Subscribe. And share with your friends and family if you enjoyed this video. Hopefully I'm going to have more of these Mega Hall videos because this one place is like just a treasure trove so far. There's just these last couple times. I'm also thinking maybe they're starting to start to get rid of stuff because we got Watch Dogs and we got Mario Kart 8 coming up. Those are the two big games that are coming up later in the month. Maybe they're just trying to get rid of stuff. Make room. So, I'll see you in a little bit. Like, subscribe, share, please. And I will see you in part two of the Mega Hall.